Yo, what's going on guys? This is Shadow Dragoner and today we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, I've heard a lot about this game and I've played a bit of it, but yeah, I want to make a video on it. It seems really interesting, so why not? So let's get that new game going. Alright. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. Like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Yeah, sure. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Relatable. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, ah, ah! I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Yeah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Shadow. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in, your, in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Shadow, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't, even, I haven't been looking either. Eh, uh, that's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the heck's a neat? No idea. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about it makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants her to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that, realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You didn't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eee, matey. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Bright, Bright President. No, it's Vice President, not Bryce. <laughs> sure, that said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to plan this all out. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's the second one. 
<laughs> I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh, man. I detectively follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year students and activities. Classes and activities, good sake. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you don't call me a new member. Eh, uh, I glanced around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Shadow. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry? Natsuki. <laughs> Girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. No. That small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. This guy's a perv, but sure. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. I mean, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D -d Don't say things like that! Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Shadow. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we are in the same class last year. What is that pose, Monica? Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Poor dude. So having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you, you too, Monica? Come sit down, Shadow. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Sounds yum, though. This girl have a few desks and range to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Fair enough. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lists the four off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we used to make his. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know... Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks to her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. All right. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. It's, it's symmetrical. What are you talking about? Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why, why are you faking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Yeah, probably. Made them for you or anything. Uh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you. You, you know, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and demiss the conversation. You returns the tail carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in, the, in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, uh I, I guess. 
<laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I I uh, uh, you know I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I, I at least enjoy tea. Tea, tea is great. I, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Yeah. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As a president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get to literature, they're not fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods at agreement. They're not surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. That is definitely true. Like, that's really true. <laughs> Why is this conversation so deep? What's wrong with me? <laughs> Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll, we'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Except for Yuri, apparently. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Uh, so, Shadow, uh, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga. I might have quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Uh, not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Damn, you're a sim. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke about figuring out to see Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The levels of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Yes. She seems to reserve timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the lot of books, not people. But, but you know, I, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Just someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, hate horror. Well, why is that? Well, I just... Well, Suki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Bro, I'm not, I'm not horror, right? <laughs> Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left the piece of scrap behind... You, you left the piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, 
everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori startly st startles up by Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess I do sometimes. Why, don't you, why do you care? Uh, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how you... I uh, understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki... Natsuki... Feel comfortable enough to share hers. Wait, this is weird. If Monica's the club leader, how does she not know they read and make their own poems? This is weird. Uh, it's gonna be. There's a red flag or something, man. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Uh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all grow a bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Shadow? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of enjoying the club, I've bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So Yuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. Oh, you messed up. Look at their faces. All four girls staring back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, God. But, but... I'm sorry. I thought... <laughs> Shadow, you, you are, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price they're paying all to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided that. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club! Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Shadow, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Could I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety well up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as you're not sick to clean up their food. Hey, Shadow, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so you already never walk home together anymore because she's almost set up to school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school at a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Got poem writing, alright? Alright guys, this is where I'm going to leave this video and when we come back, we'll make our poem and get ready for day two. Day two, if you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe and I'll see you guys next one. In the next one. Peace out.